In this video, I'm going to show you how to convert from intensity expressed in watts per square meter to intensity expressed in decibels and, conversely, from intensity expressed in decimals back to intensity expressed in watts per square meter. Now, obviously, watts per square meter is your standard units, so sometimes you need to make the conversion to do certain problems. So, let's start with the first one. Uh, we do have our equation here that says that the intensity in decibels is equal to 10 times the log of the intensity that you're hearing divided by the, the reference intensity, which is a threshold of hearing, which means 1 times 10 to the minus 12 watts per square meter. So this is the intensity you're hearing, so let's call that I. I is equal to this, and so therefore I in decibels is equal to 10 times the log of the intensity that you're hearing, which is 2.4 times 10 to the minus 7 watts per square meter, and then of course we divide that by the uh, threshold of sound, which is 1 times 10 to the minus 12 watts per square meter. Now for this one you're going to need a calculator, because that you cannot do that in your head very easily, and so we take 2.4 um, exponent 7 minus divided by 1 exponent 12 minus. All right, so what we get then is we get this is equal to 10 times the log of a number which is 2, 4 with uh, 4 zeros. 1, 2, 3, 4 zeros. So now we need to take the log of that. So there should be a log button on your calculator. There it is. And so this is equal to 10 times the log. Oh, no, I just took the log, so I don't want to take the log again. <clears throat> My calculator did that for me, so it's 10 times the log of this, which is 50 or 5.38, like that, and of course 10 times that, that's equal to 53.8, and the units, of course, now is decibels. So I, intensity in decibels, when the intensity you're hearing is 2.4 times 10 to the minus 7 watts per square meter, is 53.8 decibels. So kind of a, a, a not too loud a conversation maybe between two people. Now, let's say we hear an, a sound intensity of 87 decibels and we want to convert that back to watts per square meters. How do you do that? Well, again, we start with the equation. So we say intensity in decibels is equal to 10 times the log of I divided by I sub naught. And remember, I sub naught is, of course, the threshold of hearing, the faintest sound that we can hear. So let's plug the number in. So we're hearing a sound that they claim is 87 decibels. You know, we have what we call sound meters. Meters that can actually measure the, the, the loudness of sound and it'll express it in terms of decibels. So let's say we took a meter, we measure something at 87 decibels. So 87 is equal to 10 times the log of I divided by I sub naught. So the next thing we do is we have this 10 here. We want to get rid of that. So we're going to divide both sides by 10. So that cancels out that. So now we have 8.7 is equal to the log of I divided by I sub naught. So now we're going to take what we call the anti-log. We're going to take each side of this equation and make it the exponent of the number 10. So we have 10 raised to the 8.7 power equals 10 raised to the log of I divided by I sub naught. So that's what we call taking the anti-log. And the reason for doing that is this negates the log and we just get what's left in here. So this gives us 10 to the 8.7 power is equal to I divided by I sub naught. So now we're, since we're solving for I and not I sub naught, we want to cross multiply and maybe change, turn the equation around. So I'm going to turn the equation around. So we have I is equal to I sub naught times 10 to the 8.7 power. And of course, realizing that I sub naught is equal to this quantity right here, the, the threshold of hearing. So coming over here, we can say that I is equal to I sub naught, which is 1 times 10 to the minus 12 watts per square meter. And we have to multiply that times 10 raised to the 8.7 power. Now, without a calculator, you'd be in trouble here, because I wouldn't know how to take the power uh, 10 to the power 8.7. So, but the calculator has no problems with that. So 10 raised to the 8.7 power is, and of course, let's convert that to um, engineering units. There we go. Okay, so this is equal to 1 times 10 to the minus 12 watts per square meter. And this, the calculator tells me, is 5.01 times 10 
to the sixth. Hmm, okay. Oh, no, 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 to the eighth. My calculator does funny things. They're trying to help me, but actually the calculator's not helping at all. All right, so now multiplying that times 1 e to the 12th minus. So this is equal to uh, 5.01 times 10 to the minus 4 watts per square meter. And that, of course, is the intensity in watts per square meter, which is equivalent to the 87 decibels of sound intensity that we're hearing. And that's how you do that. So this one is very straightforward. You just plug in, uh, notice, we just plug in here the value of intensity that we're hearing in watts per square meter. Divide by this, take the log times 10. That's fairly easy. Here, it's a little bit more difficult. We first put in the sound intensity in decibels. Then we want to divide both sides by 10 to get rid of this 10 over here. Then you want to take the anti-log. That's the key to doing it like this. Then, of course, we have to plug in the value for I sub naught, bring it over here, multiply the two together, and you get the intensity in watts per square meter. And that's how you convert from one to the other.